June 3 Slat 3 edition. Uh, basically, it's just Dune 3 with a skin that I created and uh, I included it with uh, I got two um, banks that I'm going to uh, have up. The link will be in the description. You'll hear a bunch of the sounds from them while I'm going through and showing you guys everything about the Dune 3. Um, trap based and uh, I'll include the skin for free whenever you get the banks. There's two of them, or you could get one bank and I'll include the skin, or both and I'll include the skin. Um, let's go. So we'll start off with the first bank. This is the slime trap producer. Uh, there's a there's a arpeggio sequences. Uh, arpeggios basically are you you press like a chord and it'll it'll do something cool. Uh, sequences is you press one key and it'll do something cool. And then and bells and leads you have to actually play those. But they're all super high quality sounds and let's go. That one's Brick Squad Gates. We got some 808s here too. Some bells. Yeah, the Dune 3 does some crazy ass bells. I love the bells. crazy sounds all right so i went over some bells i'm going to show you guys some some sequencer sequenced on um, basically one key and it's and it goes off And you could see the keyboard, the keyboard showing you I'm just pressing one key at a time. I'll explain how I got the I sound designed all of these presets. It basically has a MIDI function where you could upload your own arpeggios as MIDI. Super advanced. Crazy effects. That's one of my favorite uh, presets. And the cool thing is if you load up a sequence and you want to do the actual sound, you just click right here and turn the ARP off and then you could do, you could play yourself. So, uh, there's no limitations right there. All right, so I went over a couple sounds that were in it. Uh, I'll go over a couple plucks. There's a uh, uh, 89 sounds, by the way. Here's uh, here's a rise. There's a few rises.
So yeah, uh, a couple guitars too. High quality. So, all right, I showed you guys some of the presets. Let me show you guys the actual the features. All right, so we'll start off. Let's uh, let's do an initialize patch. So, um, you start off. You have uh, three oscillators, and then you have the noise and the RM oscillator, which are um, they're independent from these, but you could just add them in the mixer. Uh, number one, this is your this is the section where you you control the the pitch. Turn this down a little. So as you can see right here, double click and it goes back to zero. The detuning, uh, you could add a you could detune your saw sound. So it's very uh it's very fat. And you have a bunch of different types of detuning. You uh you you also have okay. So you, you have a bunch of different types. They're they're crazy. Now you could reset it like right here if you wanted, but uh Let's go down to the waveform section. You have virtual analog wavetable and FM synthesis. Virtual analog is your basic sounds, ramp, reverse, reverse ramp, pulse. Let's turn these down. And uh, those are your basic analog sounds. I like those for, you know, the basically like the EDM type sounds. But uh, you can play with them. You can morph from all type of ways. Wavetables, that's where I, I get into it, and I love this part. Um, have your sign, and you could start morphing your wavetable position. Interpol is just how you uh, fade those wavetable uh, sections. So Interpol will make it smooth. Turn it down, it's going to be sharp. You see? I like it smooth a lot, but uh, then you then you have uh all your different waveforms. This is uh, this is the the the, the treasure right here. All different sounds and uh, your basis for jumping in, and you could even edit it right the editor right here. Uh, I don't need to do I don't go into detail into that, but you can edit your wave uh table from there. All right, so this is your mixer. You could you have your your second oscillator. You can mix it up right here. It's right here. Um, let's stay with the first mixer. I mean, the first oscillator. Basically, copies uh, of of the first, second, and third are the same type of oscillators. Your RM. I'm not super super sure exactly what RM is because I can't get any sound out of it, but uh, I'll learn that, I'll, I'll add it in the caption later. But the noise is of course noise. And uh, you uh, you could change your noise to white or pink, low pass it. Real cool for when you're making bells and stuff. All right, so now you got your filter one, your filter two. They run through this, and you could link them if you wanted. Uh, so many different sounds. I mean, types of filters. Transistor, bandwidth, AM, CL. Uh, Dune. Let's try transistor, low pass. And then your envelope automatically links to this section. This is your ADSR. And you could add unison voices right here. So it's even more of a detuning, uh, basically this, but another one right there. So it's already starting to sound fat. Uh, your polyphony, your amount of voices, your limiter. It's a good idea to keep that so it doesn't get too loud. 
your glide and your arpeggios, your effects. All right, the effects right here, FX1 engaged, and that's basically all of these. So it could start getting interesting with the phaser, chorus, delay, two delays in reverb and a compressor. Starts getting real thick real quick. Equalizer, uh, four, four, five bands, four bands, and, and then a high and a low pass at the ends. Distortion, super nice. And if you want more effects, you just pop that on. And you have more phaser chorus. Now, um, of course, that's your keyboard. M -E -S M -S -E -G, those are your envelopes. You could draw your envelopes like this, however you want. And uh, they and bend them and everything. And uh, however you want, you just double click and it creates it. Now, uh, those are good for when you want to like a real detailed LFO or, you know, anything else like that, that's a more detailed than your LFO because your LFOs are right here. They have their basics, uh, waves, but yeah. And then you link them. If you wanted to link them in your mod matrix, you could go to your, your MS, MSCG one, your mount, maybe link it to your filter. You filter your one cut off right here. So now it's linked. Let's turn the You hear it? And you got a bunch of presets. You could put some crazy stuff. You have four of those. Uh, your ARP section, I'm going to go over that right now. Let's, oh, let me fix this. Okay, um, oh, this is doing that weird thing again. All right, so, uh, let me bring this up here. This is... I think this is how I fix it. All right. Well, sorry about the glitch. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to the arpeggio section. And uh, basically, you're on and off right here. You have two arp arps, one there, one there. And you turn them on and off from right here. You basically have your notes, your steps, your sync or uh, temp sync on your rate octaves if you want them to go active length swing slide and all that that's cool that's your sequencer uh and then you have your midi the behold the 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 midi section so you could load a file you could go to the presets or you could load say any of your old your files say this is these are some midi files that i had um let's just go here double click it and it loads it in so now you you put how many bars you want how how many bars it was and uh the mode you could just you could use up and down and all these modes but i like to use playback because that's a it's a polyphonic playback and set it to whatever you recorded it in. And yeah, that's how you upload your your MIDI as a arpeggio. Pretty easy. You could pretty you could pretty much load whatever MIDI file you have and uh it's just instantly one key is one key and it's it's, it's sounding cool but um yeah so uh did i go over anything else oh the effects the glide these are this is how you control say you just wanted to control one of your voices you'd click one of the one of these and then edit say your glide or your arpeggio or effects and if you wanted to edit all of them at the same time you could press that um i pretty much use all, all most of the time but um 
one, two, three, four, five, and eight, all the way up to eight, you could do like specific things to each voice. And um, your filter envelope, I went over that. That's automatically linked right here and right here. Your amp envelope, that's your ADSR. And yeah, you have two ARBs, your mod matrix. Oh, I forgot about that. You basically, these are your sources. You pick like your LFO or whatever source you want, the amount, and then your destination. So many. And how many voices. It has a lot of spots. Your settings, uh, you could control your velocity curve, the range of your keyboard, the sync to internal or host, your your CPU usage, CPU usage, um, pitch bends, and and yeah, you could do your velocity curve, pans, filters, envelopes, amounts, and yeah, pretty much this is a pretty 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 high quality synth i honestly it's my favorite one lately i like the electra vst but when i started messing with this even though this is kind of cpu intensive it's just the sounds it comes out with are crazy let me show you a little bit of the sounds from slat trap producer <laughs> This is the other bank that I, I designed for this. This one has more ARPs, the other one has more sequences. Crazy dope flute, flute on um, gates. Those are just some of the bells. Let's go over a lead. Let's go over some flutes, some, some woodwinds. Yeah, so there's a bunch of pads plucked. I go over a couple plucks before we end it. So many sounds. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the slat 3 slash dune 3 actually just dune 3 but slat 3 skin um overview and uh mini tutorial on how to use all the parameters and features in the dune 3 shout out to synapse because they made a crazy fire fire interface as well as a great sounding synthesizer um i look up to those guys over there great coding and uh just a great sound this synth one thing i want to note is the low end in this synth is superior to a lot of other synths so when you create 808s let me go through 808 before we close this man when you go when you listen to the low end of these 808s it sounds like no other synth 
And I'm not just saying that because honestly, it's just, it's a different sound. It's clean. I don't know what they did. But they, they just made the sub frequencies very clear. Now, I, I sound designed with a, a, a very high powered subwoofer and uh it just shows all the crispy low subsonic frequencies that uh for some reason it just it does a good job a better job than many synths i've used and uh uh yeah i hope you enjoyed the tutorial guys reason gang for life fl gang too because you know i mess with fl i was only on fl today because the vst runs a little quicker it's a little bit it's a, it just v, vsts are just made decoded better for fl studio reason it works in reason um studios also it's just a little laggy that's why i went, used it in fl today but uh i, I sound design in reason most of the time anyway but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'm gonna do some more vst soon because i got some new ones too coming up see you later